How are you, Tom? I'm doing good, Javier. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. So, Tom uh, Barnes, a uh, very important person in this uh, launch of the 2015 uh, Mustang. Well, I'm the vehicle engineering manager, and I'm one of a lot of people who've been working on this car for a long time. And uh, it's, it's honestly an honor and a privilege because Mustang's been around so long, and to be able to celebrate 50 years with just this brand new Mustang, it's it's been really it's been really fun. Yeah, so let's take a little uh, ride and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the the whole project and everything. So, uh, 2015, uh, the sixth generation, right? Sixth generation. Oh, that way. And so we've had starting in in 1965, six generations, brand new. This one has something that really almost no other Mustangs have. We have an independent rear suspension. And, and, and that is kind of a foundation that we have new suspension, but we also have a whole new underbody, whole new styling on the outside, and a brand new engine with, a, with an EcoBoost engine. So, and all that put together in the 50th anniversary of the car. So I was kind yes. of, I guess, challenging, and I bet a little bit scary for designers and engineers, like don't want to mess up too much the Mustang, right? Uh, totally, because Mustang has such a good, fo it has a great following, we have great customers, and it had to be unmistakably a Mustang. And we had to just say, yes, this is a Mustang and anyone can know it, but we also wanted to make it modern and move it forward. And we're selling it now around the world, which we've really never done over 120 countries. Yeah, that's that's another big big step for Ford, right? Yeah, uh, it's a it's a huge step and it's an important step and it it this is this is our iconic, you know, pony car, our iconic sports car and now with you know the world being global this is the right time to send this around the world and it's gonna we really think it's gonna bring people in we think they're gonna just they're, they're gonna look at this car and say oh my gosh and and how come, how come we have missed it for exactly. 50 years exactly and then when you when you get in it you're like oh this is great and then you, you know we're driving it now it's just it's a great fun drive so um the, the engine, three engines for this uh, new generation. Yeah, so on that, our baseline engine is a V6, makes over 300 horsepower, and then we have an EcoBoost, which is an I4 actually, it gets 310 horsepower, and then we have a V8, which is up at 435 horsepower. So three levels with, you know, higher performance each time you go, and the, the EcoBoost actually has the best fuel economy we've ever had in a car. Yeah, and a Mustang. So yeah, the EcoBoost, a uh, smaller engine, a four-cylinder engine, but like more power than the V6. Yeah, that's it's, a, that's it's, amazing. And and the more torque. So it's 310 horsepower, 320 foot-pounds of torque. So in in that torque, which is kind of your drivability around town, it's available at a very low RPM. So that car is a really quick little car. It just feels good. And then if you drive it. You know, just on the highway or something, you're getting 32 miles per gallon on the highway, which is the highest fuel economy we've ever had in a Mustang also. Incredible technology with the EcoBoost. Uh, and you expect that to be the, the main seller? Because, I mean, a lot of people love the V8, but once they compared the V6 and the performance and the, the mileage, I think people are gonna switch their minds a little bit, no? Well, we, we are available to whatever the, the public wants to do. Traditionally, about 40% of the volume's gone to V8. So if we stick with that, then we'll have we'll have 60% to go between a V6 and an EcoBoost. We think the EcoBoost is going to be really popular. We really do. It's because it's kind of that and engine. It gives you really quick, you know, performance and good efficiency. And uh, you know, it also EcoBoost has a strong name. Exactly. It's not the first uh, time you're doing no, this engine. Exactly. EcoBoost has has been. You know, it's, I think it's been in over two million cars now, and you know, Ford vehicles, and people they they appreciate it. I mean, they're like, wow, that's a really good you know technology. So, time was right. Different applications. So, uh, the engines. So, three engines, and then like tons of new technology, even standard, which is amazing for this kind of car. Yeah. So standard. I mean, just even when you walk up to the car, there's no key. And, and it's just a, a key fob and we oh, call there, it there's a key but we're not yeah. using it to get in <laughs> it's uh it's intelligent access yeah. so 
you just open the door up and then you can just push the start button and the car fires up. And that's and standard. That's standard. I'm going to tell you some standard things. That's standard. If you, what you look in the middle there, we have something called track apps, which gives you all sorts of uh, ability to measure everything from a zero to 60 time to your braking yeah, very time. Very tempting. <laughs> uh, it is very tempting. That's standard across the board. Um, first time in a Ford vehicle, tire pressure at all four corners, standard. Rear camera, standard. Um, the list goes on and on. Just, you know, sunglass bin on your left side, that's not technology, but every car convenience, has, you know, yeah. it's convenience. Every car has sync, um, which gives you connectivity just instantly. So uh, a lot of things there. And then if you get into the features that, you know, come in packages or that you, uh, you know, we, we have things like adaptive cruise control. We have blind spot mirrors which you know indicate there so all the latest technology that is available uh, it's now in the mustang and and, and uh, the prices for these kind of cars are really amazing i mean it starts pretty low it starts with destination and delivery at 24 425 you gonna make any money on it <laughs> you know hey this has been a great we we want to we want to Honestly, we want everyone to win in this car. We want the customer to win. That's the, the centerpiece. <coughs> but we want our dealers to win. You know, we want the aftermarket to win too, because people love to customize. Yeah, exactly, and Mustangs. customize these cars like maybe more than any other. Yeah. Right? So, and and then we want the company to win, so we can we can do the next version. You know, yeah. So, um, but it's starting under twenty five, uh, EcoBoost is about fifteen hundred dollars more. And then the GT is up, you know, it's in the just under 33 range. So it's it's a little bit of a jump, but you know, you get a lot you more. You get a lot more, exactly. Yeah, you do. So definitely Mustang's fast, fun, and affordable. And, and beautiful. I mean, I have to say the design like <laughs> cuts a lot of attention. We were driving, we've been driving all day here in California, and we got a thumbs up for not only Mustang people, Camaro people. Oh, that's Challenger, awesome. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that was, we were driving then, and there's like a black Camaro, very stealth uh, kind of look, like black uh, tinted mirrors and all of that. And then the guy turned out his window and said, like, <laughs> he really liked the Mustang. So Good. you have a new customer there potentially. That's great. Well, and you know, We've seen that too, just so you know. We've been driving around and we're, we're amazed a lot. In California, you know, they're very into, they, they know where the trend yeah, is. The car and culture is and, huge Yeah, here. it's very strong. And so it's, it's really good to see that. It's good to see that. So going back to the initial point of the conversation about being the global car, what, how come it didn't happen before? I mean, just like a matter of uh, logistics or production things or why this car was not uh, available honestly, in Europe? I, you know, I don't honestly know because it, it, it was sold for brief periods of time under something called the T5 way back when. Mustang has a really strong following. There's Mustang clubs Everywhere. all over. They are. And, and like, I happened to get to go to uh, Spain when we revealed the car. Yeah. And we had Mustang club members from... I mean, Spain, Portugal, Poland, Sweden, Germany, Russia, yeah, very Italy, everywhere. everywhere, and and they love the car. So, um, all I know is right now we thought was the right time, and yeah. and, and it it's we're celebrating 50 years. Ford is definitely you know strengthening its global positioning, and then really the EcoBoost engine itself is something that we can offer around the world. You know, uh, we just said this is the time we can build a Mustang and it will be super appreciated by everyone, everyone. around the world. Yeah. So this was the right time. So we've been at this event here in LA and uh, thank you again to Formar Company for that. We were at the Peterson uh, Museum last night where we saw like the 50 year collection of cars. And now here you have some uh, club members also, right? Yeah, and that's part of what's so great about Mustang is it's, you know, we've sold over 9 million cars, but there's way more fans than that. And people who love the car, they love what it's about, which is, you know, for me, it's it's freedom and it's fun. Yeah. The car has to, you know, make you feel good and, and put a smile on your face. But, you know, the history is, we're all just part of the history. And now we're making the history for the future. And, and just that by itself is, it, you have so much strength to draw on because there's, there's so many people who care and, and can tell you where they think it should go or what they you know want it to be. So it's, it's really quite neat. And I mean, I'm a Mustang owner. Most yeah. all the people on the team well, are in, Mustang in owners. In more than one way. You know, know, that, that's Mustang true, owner. but I mean, we all have Mustangs and yeah. we, all, we all love them too. So, you know, it's just 
we just get to we're the ones who are actually you know uh, doing the grimble work to, yeah. to try to make them the, the, nice. The dream job, I guess. Yeah. Since you love it so much, so we drove the the, the, the fastback uh, on this event. So the convertible obviously is coming up later. Yeah, right? the convertible will be coming out a few months after the fastback. Um, the convertible is awesome. It's our the, the top is a very simple system. It's very quiet, and of course, when the, the top comes down, it transforms the car. I mean, it's it's yeah. blue sky above, Absolutely. which is awesome. So, and then you which know, uh, well, I'm sorry, which which uh, we got to see at the Empire State Building at the New York Auto Show. That was yeah. a perfect setting for that. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. Um, and then actually, just later on, we're going we're coming in with right hand drive versions, and those are going to be going around the world. So we have a lot of different a lot of different uh, things still. To do right, and we're seeing right there the rear view camera, which is standard in the Mustang. So that's that's right. There's and no any complaints about not uh, being easy to park. It, and it's right there. I I you just turned around. I but it's by instinct. That's I know a, it is. A, and once if you start to use this, you're going to be like, oh wow, you all those it lines. Works. Yeah, it does. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. So. And I guess like with that many other uh, applications that and technologies that this car has, right? Yes, absolutely. I mean just. We, we want it to be, we want it to look great, feel great, drive great, sound great, but then we also want you to be able to have all the technologies that people want these days, connectivity, yeah. you know, navigation, uh, you know, high, high definition radio, and then just everything we were talking about before. So we think we've got the blend and, and we're, you know, I hope you've enjoyed driving. Absolutely, and I yeah. Uh, enjoy and I'm talking to day. you too and I... So thank you very much for your time, and uh, we really enjoy it. And uh, what a great uh, way to celebrate 50 years of Mustang! Huh? Thank you very much. Thank for you, Tom. Coming. Okay, take care. Bye.